All right, this is another video on balancing equations. The focus of this video is more on phases and how to translate a sentence or a, a description of a reaction into a chemical equation using phases. So if you're focusing more on the balancing, watch the other two videos on balancing. This one's more interpreting and how to determine the phases of elements and compounds. So I'm gonna do a couple problems from the balancing equations with phases homework assignment. So this one again is to be done in your notebook. You do not need to copy the sentence description. This is a lot of words and you do not need to write these into your notebook. You do need to write balanced chemical equations with phases. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple of these starting with number 12 and I'm gonna do this on a separate piece of paper. Um, the goal here is to translate this sentence or sentences into a balanced chemical equation. So we need to pick apart the important information here. So number 12 tells us that magnesium reacts with solid titanium for chloride to produce solid magnesium chloride and titanium. So a few things, and we've done this in class, I'm going to pick out the important terms here and what they mean with respect to a chemical equation. So the first thing as we go through, through here, magnesium uh, is going to be one of our reactants. And you want to get the formula. Remember, that's the first, the first rule in our steps here is that we need to make sure we write the correct chemical formulas for everything. So magnesium is just an element. So since it's just an element, its formula is just Mg. So we're going to do magnesium. And I'm going to right now, actually we can just go through here and do it as we go, the phases. So magnesium, we need a phase here. And since it's an element, you can get its phase just from the periodic table. So because it has that box right there, look at your key, that means it's a solid. So the phase of magnesium at room temperature is solid. So we're gonna put parentheses S here to signify that it is in the solid phase. So that's the first part, magnesium. And then we have this reacts with phrase. So in my mind, reacts with means that I'm adding magnesium to something. So we're going to translate that into a plus sign in our chemical equation. So reacts with, that's going to be a plus sign. Solid titanium chloride. So this is gonna be another reactant. It's what magnesium is reacting with. And we probably could have figured out this formula, but they're being very nice here and they give you the formula. But remember the Roman numeral tells you the charge. So titanium would have a positive four charge. Chloride, you know, has a negative one charge. So the formula is going to be TiCl4. Make sure you leave some space here for balancing. And for the phase of this, titanium, titanium for chloride, again, it's telling you the phase is solid, also being very nice here. So the phase is solid, so that's another uh, reactant. And then we have another phrase here, to produce. So produce that phrase, I want you to realize is going to be the arrow. So when something is produced or formed or generates, all of those phrases would be the arrow. So these things are combining to create something else. They are producing, then we'll read the rest of it, uh, magnesium chloride. So this is one of the products, and you have to figure out the formula for that. So magnesium is here. Magnesium chloride here. So we've got a two plus and a minus one. So it's going to be MgCl2. Again, leave some space for balancing. And it tells us it is solid. So that's one product. Um, and then and, so plus sign, titanium. So that's another element. So titanium, the formula for titanium is Ti. And then just to make sure here, we find titanium and it is also solid. Okay, so we've now translated all of the words into a formula with our 
reactants and products, plus signs and arrows. And now we need to balance this. So again, I'm going to go quickly through the balancing because there are other videos to go through those steps. This is more just translating. Um, so going through here, I'm going to start with magnesium, one and one. So those balance. And then we have TI, TI, one and one, those balance. CLs, we have four on this side. We have two on this side, so that's a little problem. We're going to need to fix that. So we need to multiply this by two. So now we have two times two is four chlorines, which matches that. But now I've changed my magnesiums. Now I have two magnesiums here. So I need to go back and make sure I have two magnesiums on this side. So now everything should be good. Okay, so that was number 12. Moving on, let's do number 14. Okay, and I will do this clean paper here. Um, so number 14, same thing. We're going to go through here, translate these, and write a chemical equation for this. So we've got bromine. Bromine's kind of special. Um, it is Br, but it's diatomic. So that means that the formula for bromine, the element bromine, the formula is Br2. And it doesn't tell us the phase, so again, it's an element, so we just have to look on here. Bromine has a little drop, which means it's a liquid. Okay. I use a cursive L just to differentiate between the number one. So bromine reacts with, so that's going to be a plus sign, solid sodium iodide. So this is going to be another reactant. So sodium is plus one, iodide is minus one. So it's going to be NaI is the formula. And then it tells us it's solid. Get that to form, so same as to produce, to form some new stuff, sodium bromide, so Na plus Br minus, it's going to be NaBr, and also it gives us the phase is solid, that's very nice of them, and plus sign iodine. So again, iodine is just an element, but it is special, it's diatomic. So the formula is going to be I2, and then the phase is solid. Alright, so there is the equation with phases. Now we need to balance. So pick where you want to start and go from there. So I have two BRs here, one BR, I need to change that to two, so now I have two BRs. I've also just changed my sodiums by doing that, so I need to make sure that I have two sodiums on this side. So now the sodiums balance, but now I've just changed the iodines to iodines. So go over here, and I also have two iodines, so that one works out. So that's number 14. And let's see, last one. Let's do number 18. Just trying to think if I need to get this. Okay, 18. It tells us aqueous sulfuric acid reacts with solid potassium hydroxide to produce aqueous potassium sulfate and liquid water. Okay. So aqueous sulfuric acid, they were extremely nice here, gave us the formula for that. And the phase is aqueous, so that's AQ. Reacts with potassium hydroxide, so that's K plus OH minus, so it's going to be KOH, tells us it's solid, to produce arrow, 
aqueous potassium sulfate. So that's going to be K plus SO4 2 minus. So I need two potassiums. And it says it's aqueous and plus sign liquid water. So that's H2O liquid. So this is one where you can treat the um, sulfates as a chunk when you're balancing. Uh, I would not start with hydrogens because they're in quite a few things. So maybe start with the potassiums or the sulfates. I'm going to start with potassiums here. I see two here. I see one here. So let's change that to a two. Then I'll go over to the sulfates. SO4. SO4, so those are already balanced. Um, and now, if we look at the, uh, the oxygens, keep in mind that you've already balanced these oxygens, so you can ignore those. So you're just looking at the oxygens here and here. Here you have two because of that two there. Here you only have one, so we need to put a two here. Now we have two oxygens here, two oxygens here. And then hydrogens would be the last thing. So on this side, you have hydrogens in two different places. You have two here, you have two here for a total of four oxygens on this, or four hydrogens on this side. On this side, you have hydrogens here, and you have two times two equals four. So those also balance the four here with the four on this side. 